This is James Holder for IFL TV. I'm at Leeds Town Hall today for the Maximum Nutrition card put on by Mick Hennessy. With me, I've got Clifton Mitchell. How are we doing, Cliff? Also joined by Simon Roberts. How are we doing, Si? Yeah, good, mate. That's what I like to hear. Now, I want to talk to you a little bit, obviously, Clifton, with your work with the Furies. I know you're a heavy, heavy influence in the Furies of the camp. Eddie Chambers in action today against Carl Baker. Talk to me a little bit about that. How did you see that fight? Well, you know, it's quite funny. I used to manage Carl Baker and train Carl Baker, so I know everything about him. But um, I'll give Carl Baker his... Carl Baker is due. He, he, he hung in there and took some big shots and never swallowed it. His corner pulled him out. So, you know, give a lot of respect to Carl Baker. Mm -hmm. you know, Carl Baker's a tricky, big, tricky, more more athletic for a 20 stone, 20, 22 stone fighter. He's, he's a big lump, but he's, he's, he's very athletic in his own little way. I mean, Impressed I, with the way Eddie dealt with him? Um, yeah, Eddie, Eddie, Eddie's the type of fighter that. You see some fighters in a boxing ring that know the way around the ring, like he was born in a boxing ring. He, he, he just took his time and picked him when he wanted to. He, he, he could step it up at any time he wanted to. He, a kid that boxes in one gear at the minute, he, he never come out of first gear. Yeah. And, and absolutely, I'd say, dissected him, pulled his arms off, pulled his legs off. And then, you know, the corner had to do the job for him. Because good corner work by pulling him out, because all he was going to have to he's only going to get knocked out in the next round. Mm -hmm. If I could talk to you a little bit about Isaac Lowe, eight professional fights today, coming away with the victory against Andy Harris. He looks like he's, he's stepping up and making good progress, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got, he got a little bit anxious today. He was trying to please rather than stick to the game plan. But, you know, he's young. He's, he's, he's going to get better with it. More fights, more experience he has. And just, just calm down a little bit. You know, if he calmed down a little bit, he would have took this kid out. And that kid, he made him look... I see, I see that kid fight a couple, couple months ago and he gave a, a prospect a real, real good run for his money. What I really want to talk to you guys about, Simon, if I could bring you into this as well, is your shows. Now, you guys have been putting on some shows in Leicester. Last one got a great review in, in Boxing News. Again, can you talk to me a little bit, Clifton, about what's going on and, and the ethos behind the shows? You know, the ethos behind the shows is, is that, you know, we... I'm not going to quote anybody else's sayings, you know. We just want quality fights. And if you give the public quality, they will buy the tickets, you know. And we don't put, you don't know who's going to win our fights. You can't say, oh, you look down the list, or oh, that side of the card's all going to win. It doesn't work like that, you know. But, you know, we, we match our fighters to win, but we don't match them easy, you know. Now, Simon, a lot of people will know you from your work with various promotion companies within the boxing industry, um, running one of the biggest security firms about. How, how are you involved in this in the promoting side as well? Could you talk to me a little bit about that? Well, like you said earlier, Clifton's involved with with the Furies. He's involved with lots of things. He's, he's got other businesses and bits and pieces. And I sort of run the nuts and bolts of the, the promotional company. I, I deal with the boxers. I deal with the tickets. I deal with the venue. I deal with the security. So you know, we're a good team. Clifton's sort of the face, and I do a little bit of the graph behind, behind the face. So. We work very well. You call it reverse slavery. Yeah, reverse slavery. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a white man being beaten by the black man. That's what it is. That's what it is. Like. <laughs> but no, it's going. It's going really well. Look, we're packing shows out. Uh, we've got no TV money. You, you, we're doing really well. And please, proper 50-50 fights. Anyone that comes to our shows, we had fourteen hundred in on a Sunday afternoon last week. Wow. Fourteen hundred, which is which is crazy. And every single person loved every single second of the show. There was blood, there was guts, cheering, people stood up. Not a, not a square inch of floor not one in the seat. house. Not one not, seat not, empty. Not, yeah, not an empty seat. <laughs> no even standing room. Really. No, they weren't. Yeah. No, they're on each other's shoulders. So do you put on the bulk of your shows in Leicester or are the, they the, the, the placed about the place? What's going on? It's, it, we're just building the stable, to be fair. We're trying to sign fighters um, okay. from different areas. I've got a really good kid on next, in, on the 7th on um, the uh, was it Box Nation show in June. Okay. Uh, a kid called Jordan King. He'll yeah. do two, 300 tickets. He, says, he said to me, uh, I'm a ticket. He said, just give me 200 to start with. Wow. And I spoke to him the other day and said, yeah, yeah, he said, we'll, we'll trot through them, but mine needs some more. So, you know, I think if you've got good ticket sellers, what I want to be able to do is like with Box Nation, Box Nation, or even with uh, Channel 5, is um, let them have the top of the bill and let us, and let us show, I want to show them how to sell a show out. 
It's a great ethos, it's a great, great thing you can do because if you can back out the undercard and set out the show, the, the main fights look great. Yeah. You guys are working, making for the show look a lot better and, and working for yourselves, carving something out. Yeah. It, it doesn't matter whether we do, we're promoting Derby, we're promoting a big, big ledger centre called the Hermitage where we do our bigger shows. And we're promoting Leicester at the football club and every show sold out, whether it's Derby, Leicester, Whittick, every show sold out. So we must be doing something right. When's your next date? Uh, I think it's going to be the, the last weekend in September. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not going to run October because I think everybody's going to try and run in October. So I'm going to try and run in September and try and steal some opponents quick. <laughs> you know, that's the way forward. You know, I've got, we've got a good team around us and we've got good... Got good trainers, like I said, we've been. I've got a kid boxing in Germany for the uh, IBO world title. Okay, uh, so you know, that's that's Dave Ryan he's got against a kid called Rico Muller on uh, the 19th of July. So there, and then we can come back and then Tyson Chisora. So busy, 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 busy. busy, 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 busy.